Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today is going to be another tea talk. Very, very chill, very easy, very smooth. I actually don't have any idea what we're going to talk about. It's just going to come all to my head. I will tell you that the tea that I am drinking is amazing. I got it in the simple loose leaf um, box that I've been getting from um, the Simple Loose Leaf Tea Company and they send me a box every month that I review and this one came in um, this month's box and it's Kashmiri Chai Tea. Oh my gosh, guys. Like the pamphlet, it says um, Kashmiri Chai is a fun take on the classic chai tea. This tea has a strong cinnamon presence that will make it a good choice for sweet tea. You can serve it hot with raw honey or brew it in a sun tea style with cane sugar for a great way to change up tea time. It has green tea, cinnamon chips, almonds, cloves, crushed green cardamom, and cardamom seeds with almond and cinnamon flavor. It is divine. Like. I don't know, have you ever had one of those like cinnamon candies that I don't know, your grandma or your grandpa or someone had like always in their pocket? It tastes like that. My nanny used to have some in her bag all the time. Like when I opened it and smelled it, it was just like all of those childhood thoughts and like memories and everything just sort of like came through and it just smells so good and I did what they suggested. I put some organic honey in it. I know it's kind of like blasphemy that I'm drinking tea in a Luke's um, coffee mug, but it's like the perfect size. I also love that they always put in muslin bags so they're reusable and um, better for the environment. So it's a win-win situation and you've gotta have tea for a tea talk. Am I right? So um, let's see, a lot has been going on in, in my life, but then it feels like a lot has not been going on. I have started back at work full time. So for a lot of you who have asked, I am a digital learning specialist in my town. I teach teachers how to use technology in the classroom. Um, I was a fifth grade teacher for five years and then I uh, got my master's in American studies and I wanted to teach seventh and eighth grade US history and world geography. And then while I was halfway through the first semester, I got interviewed to be a, a digital learning specialist and I really like technology and bringing that into the classroom and things like that. And so um, I got into that job halfway through last year. And so this is my first full year back like in this position. So it's been really hectic. We've had a lot of new teachers come in because I'm a, you know, I live in Oklahoma and so we had that huge teacher strike and a lot of teachers moved either districts or they actually physically moved um, states. So they went to Texas or they went to a state where they're gonna get um, more money for their classroom and more money in a salary wise. Um, so at one school that I work with, they've had 18 new teachers this year, which means that's 18 teachers at that specific school that um, I need to train on Canvas and Chromebooks and different things like that. And so um, it's been a lot of work. This week we've been distributing a whole bunch of laptops, Chromebooks to students, working like, you know, 10, 11, 12 hour days and everything. But um, it's been really tiring but rewarding. I love going back to work because I'm not very good at sitting still. I'm not very good at not having something to do. Aaron suggested that I get that I find something to do next summer. Not because he is like being mean or anything, but because I get so bored and I get so lonely, even doing um, booktube all through summer and reviews and things like that, it still gets lonely when everyone else is at work while I'm at home. And talking to my dogs and my cats only goes so far. And for some reason I couldn't, I thought that I was gonna read a lot more books this summer than I did, but um, I couldn't focus as much. And so that was something that was, that was weighing down on me pretty bad is like I got, I don't know, I sort of had like really high anxiety and everything like that when it came to 
what to do. I'm normally a person that goes, goes, goes. And so that's something that um, sort of hit me pretty hard this summer. Because as a teacher, when I was teaching, I did a lot of professional development stuff during the summer. Like I would go to, like last summer, I went to New Orleans for a week or I do a training or I do this or do that or whatever. But um, we don't really have those for my profession that I'm in now, like the, the job description I have. And so um, there wasn't a lot to, to do this summer work-wise. I'm hoping that either I can find some volunteering or maybe get like a part-time job next summer just to sort of keep the days full of things. Um, uh, some other questions that a lot of people have been asking are, um, am I still reading cozies? Yes, I am still reading cozies. Yes, I still love them. They are still in my heart. I mean, my whole entire bookshelves behind me are full of cozies. So I'm not stopping and reading, like stopping reading cozies, I promise. Um, but you know, sometimes you've got to change things up. Sometimes you're, you're reading this and then you'll read this and that. And I've been wanting to sort of just open my, my eyes, my heart and my brain to, to new adventures and new authors and, and everything like that. And so that's been a lot of fun. Um, my best friend Brienne and I have been able to hang out a lot more the past few weeks. We've been making time for each other, which is super, super nice. Um, I absolutely love her. She's been uh, itching to start her own YouTube channel and I think that she would do really well with it when she's done with uh, school. She's getting her bachelor's in English and um, she has a lot of like fandoms that she goes with and like you guys should see her bookshelves. They are just stunning, absolutely gorgeous, tons of like pop figures and um, different kinds of things like that. And so her and I have been talking a lot about books. We're actually reading the Sarah J Mass books together. And so I read uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses and I immediately messaged her when I was almost done with it. And I was like, Brie, you need to read this series. And so she read it and we were like, we haven't fangirled like this since we read Twitch. Let me know if you guys remember Twitch. Um, they actually came out with a Disney uh, movie series on it as well with, uh, I think it's Tyra and, <sighs> Tina and Tyra, Tara and Tyra, I'm not quite sure. But they're the twins that had a really awesome show as well. I'll put pictures right here because apparently I'm having a brain fart and I don't know. Um, but so we sped through those books together as kids and so it was always fun to be able to talk about the characters and different things like that and we did the same with um jr ward and with Kenyon and things but lately over the past few years we haven't been reading the same genre she's been really into comics and i've been really into cozies and then i found this i found sarah j mass and we've been speed reading through that together like we're both on the third book of um the throne of glass series era fire and we are loving it we are loving it so much and we are loving her so much that we bought tickets for the book signing in houston in october so brie and i are going to drive down the nine hours it takes to get to houston to go to the book signing and get um, the newest book of that series. And we're hoping to read through all seven books that she has out in that series um, by the time we get to that point. So then we can um, read it when we get, when we get back to, to Tulsa in Broken Arrow. I'm super excited to do that. I'm hoping to be able to vlog that whole entire experience. So let me know down below if you guys wanna see um, that vlog. Some other things I guess that are on my mind are like, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of having like trouble figuring out what videos I wanna record. Like of course there's my standard, the Cozy Mystery releases and then my wrap up every single month. Um, but that's two out of the potentially six or seven videos that I film a month. 
And I want to know, what do you guys want to see more on my channel? Do you miss certain things on my channel? If you do, let me know down below because I do want to, you know, film things that I love and that I'm loving, but I also want to make sure that the things that you come and see me for are still here and still valid and that you still want to see things that are that are going on in my channel and and everything like that I think that that would be that that would be a fun discussion to have um, I don't normally do as many tags but um, if you guys want to see more tags on my channel you guys can can let me know because you know those are fun to do as well every so often um, I have been a lot more active on my blog. So um, the last tea talk, I guys, I told you guys that I got selected to be a reviewer for a year of boxes, and they are an absolutely amazing uh, website that has all different kinds of reviews on different types of monthly boxes that you can get in. They go from bookish boxes all the way to like bohemian boxes, Irish boxes, Oceanista, all these different types of. Um, subscriptions that you can get every month sent to your doorstep and if you guys go to my blog I have been blogging up a storm on all different types of um, Boxes now. I know that I asked this before but I want to make sure do you guys want to see all of those different types of boxes or do you guys want to vote on my Instagram like what unboxing you want to see this next month um, just let me know because I don't want my whole entire, this is a booktube channel, so I don't want to um, overload you guys with the different book boxes that I'm sort of reviewing every month. They, I've been reviewing um, Oceanista, California Found, um, a cool mystery one which the giveaway ended and I picked the, the winner for that and um, there's all just all different kinds and maybe I'll pick my favorites of the month from all of the boxes that I have. I'll pick like maybe my top five favorite things and show you guys. Um, I like those, I love those videos where they say, you know, my monthly favorites. So like for example, I have fallen in love with Torrid. I love their clothes. It's for uh, sizes 10 and up. And I love that I know for a fact that if I order something from Torrid, it's going to come in and fit me. Like I'm a size 10 and like a size double zero in the shirts. And I know for a fact that when I order that online, that fits and it's gonna 100% fit because there's been times where I've ordered from like Old Navy size 10s and some of them fit, but other ones are then way too small. It doesn't make sense to me, but um, yeah, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, we've been doing a lot of things with hanging out with family. We went to a Repnicks game last night. Aaron, my dad, my sister and I, we uh, did Pino's Palette with Aaron's mom for her birthday. And we painted a sea scene. Mine's not the best, I will say. Like I was super happy with it until they made me put the reeds in. I'm not happy with the reeds the reeds made me super mad because they only give you three brushes and the three brushes like, hold on, Aaron's handing me the painting. So like it looks super cool, like from here up, like it looks super cool, right? And then you get to these stupid freaking reeds. So the reeds in the, in the paintings, the artist's one, were all wispy and pretty and fine. And then the brush, she's like, use the medium sized brush. And I was like, nah, brah, we gotta use the small brush. And so first I tried the medium sized brush. Do you see how thick these reeds are? These aren't reeds, these are sticks. And she's like, and you gotta be brave. Like sort of like how Bob Ross is, like you gotta be brave. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. I was super excited and I went like, Phew and I ruined it. Now, mine's not the worst that I saw, but it's not the best either. But the thing is, is that I had a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun hanging out with Erin's mom for her birthday. I had a lot of fun, you know, having a couple of beers and just hanging out and painting. And it's the experience that matters the most. 
and being able to be with people that you love and the family that you love. And so, you know, we have something to laugh about because the, uh, the little hills, the little dunes look like fuzzy butt cheeks. And so it was hilarious because Aaron's mom could not stop laughing at the hairy butt cheeks. And then Aaron and I couldn't stop laughing and it was perfect and I loved it. Um, this summer has been a really, really good summer. I just love hanging out with everyone and getting to spend some family time. I know that, um, you know, I've missed a couple of days here and there, but I've always tried to make up with it for like weekend videos. Um, a good majority of the summer, I was posting three videos a week. And so hopefully that makes up for um, some days missed. Um, it's just been, you know, life happens and things are going on and all of that fun stuff. But um, I always love like talking to you guys because you guys have really become my favorite like really close friends. I message you guys about different things. You message me about different things. Some of you call me like a, a big sister and that just makes my heart so happy. And I just, I really love all of you guys and I watch your videos all the time. If you guys are making videos, I might not be able to comment all the time because have you noticed when you're watching the YouTube videos on your phone and then you go to go scroll down and if no one else has commented It doesn't scroll down far enough for you to comment. How frustrating is that YouTube get on it Fix that so that I can comment from my phone if somebody else hasn't already commented so Yeah, that's sort of like a life update and all of the things next week is the first full week uh, Well, it's not the first full week of school school starts on Thursday the 16th I believe and so um yeah yeah it starts on the 16th and so there's a lot of things that we got to get done a lot of videos I have to make because I make training videos and stuff um my hobby comes into my work score but yeah let me know how your month has been how your summer has been you guys we can talk about things other than bookish things you just gotta let me know what you want to talk about what videos you'd like to see so thank you so much for joining in this tea talk. I hope that you grabbed a, a drink or a snack or something to, to chat with me with or to listen and then chat below because please guys comment. I love talking to you guys in the comments. It makes me so happy being able to have communication back and forth. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time guys, happy reading. Have good, good, yummy drinks. Bye.